Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, Infinity Marine Works, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing, all of those things. Today I'm doing a job or finishing a job for Infinity Marine Works, which is my basically marine specific company where we do all, the, all kinds of detailing, but we also do uh, Infinity liner applications and any color that you want, any texture you're looking for, um, crazy durable liner material. Uh, we also have a thermal additive for that and a traction additive for that. Um, again, any color, any texture pretty much. And um, we also provide the Infinity Marine, uh, the clear coat and ceramic coating in one. Uh, so that's what Infinity Marine Works is about. All things marine, so anything for a boat. We do fiberglass work, custom audio fabrication for um, enclosures and build outs. Uh, we do some fiberglass structural repair, that kind of thing. It's more uh, upgrade situ it's more of an upgrade situation than it is a uh, complete restoration situation. So uh, we can add electronics for you. We can add audio systems, we can build enclosures, coolers, we can mold in whatever fiberglass you need done. Um, so lots of different services with Infinity Marine Works, uh, but today we're working on the Infinity Liner install. Uh, in part two, I sprayed the belly of the boat. I sprayed uh, both consoles, this one here, and there's one outside, and then a few parts. Today, uh, the first order of business uh, was to wipe down the gunnels with acetone, which I have already done. Let me show you what we're working on right now. So I've wiped down all the gunnels uh, with acetone to get them super clean. They were sanded uh, by the owner. Uh, that was one of the deals uh, that I did with him was uh, he wanted to do some of the prep work uh, to cut down on some of the costs. So that's where we went with that. And now I got it all wiped down and it's about to, time to go mix some paint. I do have to mask this. So I'm gonna mask this all the way around so that when I'm spraying the gunnels, nothing hits that area because after I'm done with the touch-ups on this console and spraying the gunnels, which we were gonna do a heavy texture on the gunnels, uh, and we did, I did a very light texture on this console, but the other console that's out there, we did a heavier texture on. So the texture on the gunnels is gonna match that texture there. Um, yeah, so a little bit of touch up on this, a little touch up on the belly where we moved the stands. And then uh, I'm gonna hit the gunnels probably before I do the touch ups because I want that to dry really well because I've, I've gotta get back in here. And an hour after I do the gunnels, I need to come in and tape it off so that I can paint uh, this, this rail here all the way around the boat and the floor. So that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get get to working and I'll bring you back when I've got more done. All right, so I did a little bit of touch up on the console already, but I saw we're moving things around, hitting it, that kind of thing. I wanna put another coat right here on the front. Um, and then I'm literally just gonna swap guns and uh, start shooting it on the gunnels. So, I'm um, ready to get rolling with that now, so I'm gonna mask up and start working. All right, boys and girls, <clears throat> this ice blue shenanigan extravaganza is complete. Got the gunnels all up underneath the gunnels. No, I did not get the bottom. Be a waste of product. It's fiberglass under there anyway. It's not gonna rot. So I got all up underneath the gunnels, all the way around, or underneath the top rail, all the way around. Went with a uh, medium heavy texture, all the way around. We went with a smoother texture here, because you're gonna be basically leaning on that center console a lot so you don't want to worry about 
Well, I don't know that it would be a problem anyway. Just something the owner and I decided on was to just go ahead and do a smoother texture on that console. As you saw in part two, I completed that console uh, in a heavy texture, which is the same thing I did on the gunnels there. So, both sides of the supports, on top of the supports, below the supports, good stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna give this an hour or so to start curing up. Uh, and then I'm gonna come and pull all this masking out and basically flip it around and shoot the floors and the top rails and we are good to go. So, making progress. Looks awesome. I'm excited, I'm really excited to see the contrast between the gray, which is the same color he painted the hull, so that whisper gray all grip is going on the floor and the top rail. So that's where I'm at now. I'm gonna give about an hour and I'm gonna be back at it. Reverse masking what you see so I don't hit any, so I don't hit anything uh, that shouldn't be hit. Infinity liner is amazing. All right, we'll be back when I get it all uh, taken apart and remasked. Right before I shoot, I'll show you what's going on. All right, I'm back from my little sabbatical, waiting for this stuff to dry. I pulled all the masking out of here, obviously. Pulled all the tape off. Uh, there's a hatch going on that, so that's fine. I actually, when I did the taping, I paid very close attention to where the hatch was gonna lay. So you can see it's all inside of where the hatch will be up here. So we're good with that. So now I'm gonna acetone wipe the floors. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the owner already uh, sanded the floor down, so I'm just gonna hit it with the acetone. Um, I'm actually gonna have to mask that. Yeah, I gotta mask around this console. I gotta mask the gunnels, and then I gotta mask that edge. So acetone wipe, then I gotta mask everything, and then we'll be spraying this stuff and finishing up today. Um, I am going to uh, prime those seat bases. Uh, they're not going to come out. So we're gonna prime those so that it will take the liner and uh, we're good to go. So masking, acetone wipe down, and then line. So see you shortly. Gunnels are all masked off. Got this outer edge masked up. I got the lower portion of the console all masked, uh, masked up. So it's about time to wipe it down with acetone and start spraying the final bit. Oh, um, I went ahead and primed those and masked everything up. Like I said, wipe down time, spray time. So the next time you see this boat, the floor will be whisper gray like the um, hull is. And so will this top rail. So I'm gonna get to wiping and get to spraying. We'll see you shortly. All right, I got to, uh, got into going down and mixing up a batch and whatever. And then I looked up and I'm thinking, man, when you spray any liner material, it's chunky. So you get splatter and I, I just do not want any splatter on my fresh liner material. So I went ahead and grabbed a drop cloth or drop plastic thing and wrapped her up. So now it is time to uh, mix up some product and get this uh, floor deck, this 
side rail all covered in infinity liner baby all right time to work all right all she is completely done we got the ice blue on the outer edge here we got whisper gray right here on the edge we got ice blue on the gunnels and whisper gray on the floor we got ice blue on this console looking awesome Lines are nice and tight. Looking right. All right. Get you up on the ladder. Let's see from down here, it looks awesome. Just pulling off all the tape now. Pretty much done with that as well. What a job, super tough, but it worked out awesome. Love the two-tone. He picked a couple of colors that really worked out nice together. Um, I also did the belly of the boat. That looks awesome. Touched up the areas where the stands were when I sprayed the um, the belly originally. So those are all done. Belly got ice blue. Man, super happy with this. Uh, so I am Gary Dean from Infinity Marine Works. If you would like your vessel or truck bed or 4x4 parts or whatever coated in my fantastic infinity liner which is what you see all over here we were able to vary the textures the belly and that console got a very smooth texture that's more medium than smooth but the belly is super smooth as you saw uh, the sides got the heavy te texture the rear um leaning post slash console area uh, that one got the heavy texture as well but we did um we did a heavier texture on the top rails and we did the thermal and the traction additive to all of the whisper gray everything that's whisper gray got the additional uh, thermal additive which will keep it cooler when the Sun is directly hitting it uh, and also got the traction additive which well gives you better traction he wanted the thermal additive for the floor to make sure that uh, his wife and son's feet don't get too hot which I totally agree but that's it I'm super beat super tired uh, I'm about to head out for the evening long job uh, the material cost on this job alone was about $1,200. So um, just remember when you want to hire somebody, a quality person to do a quality job on your liner, uh, A, they need to be using a fantastic product, which we do. We manufacture Infinity Liner. Um, and it's a two-part, two 2K urethane liner. Uh, and it's super durable. Uh, I can tint it in any color that your little heart desires. Uh, I can color match cars. We do full car uh, sprays with, and, and you pick the texture, whether it's smooth, glossy, I don't care, uh, or smooth, glossy. Whether it's smooth, medium, 
heavy duty texture, uh, really dramatic, we could do that. Um, or if you want flat or glossy, we could do that too. <laughs> That's what I was trying to get at. But um, if you need me, let me know. But just make sure that when you're searching for somebody to do a liner job for you, just like anything else, you want to make sure that not only the work that's going to be performed is going to be good work, but you also want to make sure they're using a quality uh, product. So always inquire, ask questions. And if you get them to stumble where they're confused, you should move on. So anyway, uh, let me know if I can help you. 813-846-4406 is my cell. Uh, and you can basically search Gary Dean, uh, Tampa, Florida for pretty much anything uh, that we do. I own detailjuice.com, which is a, a detailing product line. Uh, I also own Gary Dean Detailing. Uh, but the Infinity Marine Work situation is specifically for, uh, well, marine, like I mentioned earlier. So if you need me, if you want a liner, situation done for yourself or if you need something detailed whether it's a boat whatever let me know 813-846-4406 thank you guys so much for watching and reach out if you need me have a great day